taking a big math test and you get a question like this. Regardless of how the graph is oriented in the standard X, Y coordinate plane, no graph in one of the following categories has a vertical line of symmetry. Which one? Uh, square is definitely vertical. Law is vertical. Pentathon is enough. Pentagon is uh, parallelogram. Parallelogram, it looks like this. So that'll be. So a scalene triangle. So we have five different options. We have F, a line. A scalene triangle means that you have one side, all three sides are different lengths. Right. This is scalene. Well, that can have a vertical line. But would it have a vertical line of symmetry? What does that mean? Vertical line of symmetry means like I can, for a line, I could have a line and I could cut it and both sides, I could fold it over that cut and it would match up equally, mm. right? So if I take a line and I cut it, I can fold it over. Exactly. I could take this and if I fold it over, it would have a line of symmetry. It would be symmetrical, right? Huh. A square, if I cut it in half, fold it over, be symmetrical. both sides are going to be symmetrical. So F and G both have lines of symmetry, so they're not our answers. A pentagon, pentagon is going to look a little something like this. Okay. I don't know if you can tell, a little starfish design. Right. But if you cut this over, a line of symmetry? Yeah. Yep. Now, a parallelogram is kind of tricky, okay, in the sense that normally a parallelogram looks like this. Okay. It's got a little slant to it. Okay, but technically the definition of a parallelogram is any four-sided like figure with parallel sides. Okay, if you fold this over, it's actually not going to have a line of symmetry. Right. For a parallelogram drawn like this. However, what is also a parallelogram is a rectangle. If I do fold over a rectangle, it will have a line of symmetry. Make sense? All right, now, scaling triangle, because none of the sides are going to be equal to one another, it means that at no point can you put a line down and for it to be equal. You can already tell it's already going to be yeah. a little bit wonky. Isosceles means two sides are the same. Right. Two sides are equal. So scaling, no sides are equal. Isosceles, two sides are equal. And then equilateral, all sides are equal. That's third grade, right? 